I took nurses training and I worked as a nurse. I thoroughly enjoyed what I did. And, uh, but I did that before we had children. And we had made the decision that since my husband had to travel for his work that since they couldn't have a full-time father, they should at least be entitled to a full-time mother. And I never went to work when the children were home. And it came time for the oldest daughter to be going to the academy and the youngest was not in kindergarten yet because our kids are spread out. And I didn't want her to ever feel that she kind of got pushed out, you know, and so I went to my first Tupperware party in 1955 and uh, the lady that was doing the demonstration of the product did a wonderful job, told us how good it was and it had a warranty and, and uh, it would save money in preserving food and uh, it was just a very, very nice way to learn about a new product. And uh, so I placed an order for a piece or two and tried it to see if it really worked like she said it would, and I found that it did. And I kept being, oh, and she also wanted me to invite my neighbors and my friends and have a demonstration at my house. So I did that, which meant that whatever the sales were, there was a certain percentage I would get free Tupperware for the work that I did inviting people. And, and, uh, and uh, so I was happy to do that. I always enjoyed having people come and, and and have a good time together. She played games and offered some nice prizes of Tupperware, and so why not? And uh, that went on for a couple years, and they had a, a special bonus that if you held three demonstrations in your home in a year's time, you got extra points for free Tupperware. Three parties in a year's time, that's nothing for me. I enjoyed having people, so I did it. And uh, when it came time, and, and each time that I had this demonstration in my home, they saw that I was enthusiastic about it and they wanted me to train to be, uh, a dealer with Tupperware and do the demonstrations. But I didn't want to do that. I still had little children that I wanted to take care of and I, I, I just didn't want to, to do it. Uh, but they, they never gave up. Each time I would get a little more Tupperware and each time would be the encouragement what you could benefit. So when it came time that our daughter was going away to the academy and we had to have more money, you can get along on one paycheck that pays the rent and buys the groceries, but there is none left for education, that's for sure. <laughs> so I knew that I had to go to work and it was, I would be gone from home shorter periods of time selling Tupperware than I would if I went back to nursing. And I had been out away from nursing for so long that I felt like I needed to go to school and get updated myself before I could talk about it and, and uh, or before I could go and help someone. So. I decided that I would sell Tupperware. I could do a lot of the work at home, on the phone. I would be away from home only about two hours in the evening when I would be putting on the demonstration. 
If my husband could be home with the children, fine. If not, I could take care of them during the day. They were ready for bed, had their worship with them and everything, and a babysitter could sit there while they slept while I went to work. So that's when I decided that it would fit into our plans for our family for me to do that kind of work. And I kept at it. They finished the academy and they went on to college and Tupperware was able to pay all of the school bills. We have four children. Two have their PhD. One has the master's and the other just a college graduate. And we were able to pay for all of the academy and all the college uh, without ever getting behind. The children were very cooperative. They would get summer jobs and help themselves as much as possible, but uh, it's impossible for a young person to put themselves through school now with the expenses that there are, but we are just grateful that we were able to do that with God's help. I never, never once had to call the business off and say, you'll have to wait next till next month because the money was there. And I worked for a good cause and God blessed. The lady that was my manager, because in Tupperware you can be a manager, but you're manager of people. You're not manager of a territory. She lived in Coloma. I was in Berrien Springs. In our meetings, we had to go to weekly meetings in Kalamazoo every Monday morning. So since she was my manager, she by the way, managers got company cars. That was another selling point. And uh, when you're a manager, you train people, you know, to put on good demonstrations. And the company gives you a bonus check of what the people are selling that you have trained. It doesn't come out of their pockets, so it's up to you to do very good training because the company pays the manager the bonus check. I think that's an excellent idea. That, that shows why they have good people that are, are, are working for them. It's a, it's a company that's really made big strides, I think, all over the world. There was supposed to be a meeting on a Friday night and I told her and I told my distributors that I would not be able to attend and I told them why. Oh, that's all right, that's okay. And um, this manager, we had all the way from Coloma to Kalamazoo to talk and she would ask all kinds of questions. And um, one time she told me, you know, she said, before, you, before I got acquainted with you, I never heard about Seventh-day Adventists. And now I know so much what Seventh-day Adventists, she has never become one, but she and her husband are both wonderful people and wonderful Christians. They, they go to the Baptist church and the Baptists are very good Christian people. They have no bad habits. And it's just like my mother, <laughs> when the right time comes, she knows exactly <laughs> all about the Sabbath and, and all uh, the different things. And uh, we talked about a lot of stuff, you know. She, she knew why I was working to see that the children got a Christian education. She has seen to it that their family, their children had a Christian education because she, she had, Baptists also have Christian schools, you know, that they, they teach the Bible. 
So that was one. And, uh, and knowing that no matter what came up, I never went to anything on Sabbath. I never went to anything on Friday night that would, uh, and the conventions were always held in our land of Florida. And um, I, never, I never attended those. They let husbands come to the conventions and so a lot of times we'd drive down or else we'd rent a car and we'd, we'd just go and, and find an Adventist church and go to church. And, and, uh, but the distributors and everybody knew that there was no reason why they would expect me to be there and they said, well, that, that's up to me. If I, you know, there's good training. Sure, I knew there was good training, but I would ask one of the other managers what the extras were, and they'd give me their notes, and I'd <laughs> copy them later on. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, it wasn't hard to, you know, I, I liked just casually mentioning, uh, mentioning why I, I would not be attending and they accepted it. One of the rules was, and if you're gonna be selling Tupperware, you are not ever to talk about religion of any kind, finances, or what was the other one? If you had a fight with your husband just before you were going to a Tupperware party, you leave all that behind on your doorstep. <laughs> that was one of the things. <laughs> but um, if people asked me, I would m mention, you know, I never, um, sometimes they'd ask, why did you want to, to do it, you know, or, or somebody would be dating a party for the, to be held in their home and they'd like it Friday night and I um, would say, well, could you have it some other uh, evening because I don't hold parties on Friday night. Oh, why, why can't you do it Friday night? So I would casually just tell them, you know, and I never had any problems with that. And if they would ask questions, I would answer the questions, but I, I did what the company asked, that we don't discuss religion because some people could have hurt feelings and that was not finances and, and, and religion were not to be discussed because we were there to uh, talk about Tupperware and that was what we were supposed to do. No problems. <laughs>